Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And very good day to all of you So today I would like to start our first chapter Which title about the introduction on turbo machinery Okay, in terms of content, this chapter consists of three subtopics First, uh, first topic is about an introduction about turbo machinery Second is about the compressible flow and the third one is about efficiencies of a turbo machine. For the first subtopic, we will learn about the definition of turbo machine, the categories and also the basic equation that involve in the subject. For second subtopic, we will learn about the numbers of parameters involved in calculation of compressible flow and also a few relationship or equation that involve in compressible flow the last subtopic we will learn about the equation for compressor efficiency and also turbo efficiency in order to determine the performance of a turbo machine so now let me discuss about the definition of a turbo machine so we want to know um, what is what are the main keywords of the definition of the machine definition of a turbo machine is any devices in which energy is transferred either to or from a continuously flowing fluid by the dynamic action of one or more moving blade rows so from the definition we can see that there are three main keywords in the definition First, energy is transferred. Second, continuously flowing fluid. And the third one is moving blades rules. So any device or any system that fulfill all these three keywords will consider as a turbo machine. So this figure shows uh, the quarter cut of 3D drawing for gas turbine engine which is consists of three main component a compressor, a capacitor chambers and also a turbine so uh, by referring to the definition we want to know whether this gas turbine engine is considered as a turbo machine or not so first let me uh, look at the mechanism of this uh, machine okay so the, the figure shows the cross-section drawing of a gas turbine engine that consists of a compressor, a combustor chambers, and also a turbine. Okay. So in order this gas turbine engine to produce a power to rotate the generator, the compressor must rotate in order to suck the fresh air from the surrounding so that the compressor will produce compressed air before entering the combustor chamber so the compressed air will mix with fuel in the combustor chamber uh, in order to start the combustion process and the combustion process will produce exhaust gas with high temperature and also high pressure and this exhaust gas will flow through the turbine and release the surrounding so this exhaust gas will transfer energy to the rotor of the turbine in, uh, to make sure that the turbine rotate to produce uh, power output to rotate the generator okay so if we refer to the definition of a turbo machine the compressor fulfill all the three main keyword where the compressor um, have a moving blade rows more than one the compressor have continuously flowing fluid throughout the combustion process and also the energy is transferred from the uh, compressor rotor to the fluid however if you look at the compressor uh, combustion chamber this uh, device 
also have energy transferred during the combustion process and also continuously flowing fluid. However, this device don't have any moving blades during the process. So the combustion chamber is not considered as a turbo machine. Similarly, we see the turbine. So the turbine also fulfill uh, all the, uh, the three main keywords for tur turbo machine definition. So the turbine also the compressor we can consider as a turbo machine. Okay, now these are the the examples of system that involves a turbo machine. So first we have a fighter jet. So if you can you can see that at the back of the fighter jet we have two two engines. So this engine actually is a gas turbine engine that consists of um, if you refer to the definition consists of flowing continuous flowing fluid uh, rotational movement of the blades and also energy uh, transfer during the process so we have fan compressor and also turbine the second example is for gas power plant and in the gas power plant also um, the plant will use gas turbine engine so the only difference if you compare to uh, gas turbine engine for jet fighter jet for the fighter jet the gas turbine engine is is used to produce thrust force however for uh, gas power plant the gas turbine engine is used to produce uh, rot rotational movement to rotate the electric generator Okay, so we have compressor and also turbine. The third example is for hydropower plant. So inside the hydropower plant, also uh, the, the power plant also will use uh, a turbo machine that we call uh, Kaplan turbine. So this Kaplan turbine will rotate by the water flow from the dam. Okay, the final example is centrifugal pump system so here we have a centrifugal pump that uh, the pump we need to supply the blue in or a work input in order to rotate the impeller inside the pump so that the pressure of the water will increase so um, if we refer to the derivation of automobile machinery this system also consider as a turbo machine system where uh, the pump we consider as a turbo machine then okay next we will discuss about the categories involved with turbo, mach turbo machinery so there are three main categories uh, in ca characterize the turbo machine Okay, the first category is under absorb or produce power categories and this category is actually based on type of operation so the first type of operation is absorb power so any turbo machine that absorb power to increase the fluid pressure is put under this category for example a pump as you can see in the figures the pump attached with the electric motor where this electric motor will provide work input or provide power input to to the pump in order to rotate the, rotate the impeller so that the pressure of the liquid will increase okay so power is supplied by the motor to rotate the pump impellers so we consider that the pump absorb the power from the electric motor so the second example for under this category is a compressor so the the figures shows uh, the gas turbine engine and the main component one of the main component of the gas turbine engine is a compressor so the compressor is attached with uh, with the electric motor and also the turbine so in order to uh, call to run the engine first the compressor must be rotate rotate 
uh, where uh, the, pres the the compressor must receive a, a work input from the electric motor however after the engine running so uh, the compressor will absorb or will receive the W input or work input from the turbine from the turbine so power or work supplied by the motor and turbine uh, was used to rotate the compressor rotor and the compressor we consider as um, the a turbo machine that absorb power to increase the fluid pressure and we put the compressor under the absorb power categories so the second type of operation is the produce power operation where any turbo machine that produce power by expanding fluid to a lower pressure is put under this type of category for example a steam power plant so from the figures we can see that we have a steam turbine and also we have generator so the steam turbine will attach to the generator where the function of the steam turbine uh, is to rotate the generator to produce uh, an electricity so in this case the power of work produced by the turbine is used to rotate the generator so uh, for this case turbine is considered as a turbo machinery that produces power by expanding fluid to a lower pressure okay the second the second okay the second categories is uh, under flow pass category and this category actually based on fluid flow direction so there are three type of flow pass in this category first is an axial flow pass and the figure shows the example of an axial jet turbine engine so you can see that uh, the arrow the blue arrow shows the direction of flow at the inlet of the engine enter the compressor and the red color arrow shows the uh, flow direction of fluid flow at the outlet of the compressor and then uh, the blue arrow again shows the direction of the inlet of the fluid enter the turbine and come out from the turbine with red arrow so all this uh, we can see that the arrow shows the direction of the fluid parallel to the axis of the engine so that's why we call this type of engine as axial flow engine okay the second type of flow pass is radial flow so the example of this type uh, this type of uh, category is a centrifugal pump where we can see here the arrow the blue arrow shows the fl uh, fluid flow direction uh, at the inlet of the pump okay, due to the uh, shape of the impeller so obviously we can see that the radial uh, direction of fluid flow throughout the uh, pump and the last one the arrow come out from the outlet of the pump okay the third flow pass type is a mixed flow types so the figure shows the example of a uh, different kind of uh, jet engine where this this jet engine uh, has the mixed flow compressor at the middle of the engine and the uh, dash line dash line shows the axis of the engine you can see that the blue color arrow shows the direction of the flow at the inlet of the compressor where the direction of the fluid is in the axial direction however due to the shape of the blade of the compressor um, the fluid flow will uh, flow through the compressor at a certain angle depend on the shape of the blade so this kind of flow we call mixed flow 
and the engine or the compressor of the engine we will call mixed flow compressor okay for the last categories categories number three is based on pressure change categories so this category actually based on the fluid pressure throughout the rotor so there are two types of um, turbo machine under this category first impulse turbo machine where the turbo machine will experience no static pressure change throughout the rotor for example a Pelton turbine so in this figures show the rotor of the Pelton turbines and also the bucket of the Pelton turbine so if you look at this committee diagram in order to rotate the rotor of the Pelton turbine so the system need to use water jet it use water jet the water jet will impinge uh, on the bucket surface and will have uh, the we will have the certain pressure uh, of the of the fluid okay let's say p1 when the uh, uh, rotor rotate the water jet will impinge to the to the another bucket and the pressure will be let's say p2 so for for the for this type of um, of category or this type of uh, turbo machine that we call impulse so the pressure for p2 actually equal to p1 where no static static pressure change throughout the rotor that's why we call the pelter turbine as impulse turbine okay so pelter turbine we put under impulse turbine categories category so the second type of um, of turbo machine under pressure change categories is uh, the reaction turbo machine where the turbo machine will experience uh, static pressure change throughout the process so the pressure will change throughout the rotor for example a Kaplan turbine that normally used uh, in hydro power plant so you can see uh, the rotor of the Kaplan turbine and also the blade of the Kaplan turbine so the fluid will enter will enter the the turbine at the inlet uh, with pressure of p1 and come out from the turbine at the outlet of the turbine at pressure p2 because this type of turbine is considered under reaction turbo machine category so the pressure p1 is not equal to p2 so normally P1 is greater than P2 for the Kaplan turbine. Okay, in order to test your understanding about the topics, so I would like you to answer this question by referring to the figures. Please identify each component, name it, and choose suitable categories for each component in the figures. So first you have to answer the question by clicking the link provided in my blog and remember that you need to know the password in order to open the link the passport the password was given throughout the video related to this topic and the clue is given in the link okay good luck okay that's all for part number one for chapter one